In this tutorial in CyberLink Card Director, I'd like to introduce you to two separate color effects available in the effect room. I have a video on track number one, I'll stop it, and I also have an effect track that I place below track number one. We're going to work on both of these different color effects in this tutorial. So to get to them, we go to our effect room. I can click on the effect icon or press the F4 function key. Now here's a list of all the effects that I have in my copy of PowerDirector. I'm going to click on search the library. The first one is called filter color. I'll start typing the name F-I-L-T. And I have filter color. I'll take and drag and drop that down in my effect track. Now I could put it on top of the video if I want but I like the control of having a separate track. So we notice what happened immediately was it virtually made everything grayscale. When I double click on it we have a focus color and a color range. The focus color default here happens to be green. I'm going to click on select color that will pop up a screen where we can see the color that we want to choose that should be filtered. Let's take the blue of the vehicle. Click on that. And then I'm going to click on the OK button. Now you notice what it did. Now everything is black and white except for the blue in the vehicle. And if we take our cursor and put it in front of our effect, there's the normal, and I drag and put it over the effect, and there is the blue. So it works really good on that blue. Now blue is a good color to use, as is green, because it doesn't affect human pigment. Let's try a different option here. Let's double click on it again, and click on modify. Let's look on focus color again. This time we're going to change to the blue of his shirt. I'll click on that one click on OK and now we have an interesting feature here now some of the blue here doesn't work because it's a bit gray so we can adjust the slider slightly if we tone it down a bit and now I have a little of the blue of the vehicle coming in so you have to pick it pretty carefully what you want and what you don't want and it will be imperfect so I don't want to turn the vehicle blue, but I'd like to get a little more of this. That's about as good as I can do in this shot. So this is what we have when we look at it through that particular color filter. Let's try another one. Let's click on this and let's try something on the skin tone. Let's take the color on the scale's thigh. Click on that. Click on OK. And that's a rather interesting shot. This is where now the skin tones are there. You notice her hair is grayed out and a little bit of gray on the skin. Again, you can use a slider to bring a little bit of it in. You don't want too much. We're getting in a little bit of the ivory of the vehicle here. And we still don't have some of these shadows area that are covered by smoke. And we have the flame working here. But it does give a rather unique effect when you're looking at... Uh, just having the skin color show pretty vibrantly in that part of the picture and washing out most of the rest. And so those are, those are some variations that you can try depending on what colors you have in your particular shot. I'm going to go back to my controls here and we'll uncheck all these. The next one I want to work on is colored focus. So I'll start typing color and here's color focus. I'll take color focus and drop that down on this track as well. And I'll double click to get into it. Now this is slightly different. We can keyframe this one and we also have a height and width and a gradient depth as well. Now you notice we have a, an area here that's in color and the rest of it is not. I'm going to change my gradient depth down to 1 and now you're going to see the actual focus of my color. Now you can move the height and width together, and that's the default, or you can click on the chain and unhook the two of them. And so now I can change it to a taller, and I can make it narrower. I can also change the position by clicking on that, and then I move the red dot, and let's focus on the guy here. Click on OK. 
So now the focus is on him. Now we'll go back and go up on the gradient depth. And then I think I'm going to go down on both of these numbers. Let's change the 39 to a 30. And I don't want, the, and let's change the height from an 82 maybe to a 69. I'm just guessing here, maybe less. I don't want the fire in there. 60. Okay, and then I'll change the position a little bit, move it up. And that basically captures the man in the middle. So now when we look at this segment, we have him fo in focus, in color, everybody else is black and white. I'm going to extend this for a bit, make my color focus a little longer, because I want to show you something else about the features there. Let's play. And now you notice the camera shifts a little bit right here. And now we get her in color too. Well, you can also adjust for that. I'm going to double click on it and we're going to go to keyframes. I'm going to move back where my color focus starts. And now we'll set a keyframe for position. And then we'll move forward when it starts to move toward her. And I'll click on position again. And now I'll reset the keyframe back to him. Click on OK. And you can do this through the duration of the clip. So what will happen is if you have some slight movement and you focus, now I have it a little bit more to the right than I want in these frames. And so all I have to do is go back, double click on it. It will remember where my playhead was, go back to my keyframe control, set position again, and we'll move it a little bit more over in this direction. So you can make an adjustments in the course of your clip so that you keep the focus where you want to. It's not exactly the way I would want it in long term, but you see how to manage the position using the keyframe controls. So those are two interesting color effects that are available in PowerDirector. ColorDirector gives you a lot more precision, a lot more control. But if you want to experiment with these for certain particular projects, we thought you might find that useful.